Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, I don't know about you, but I have been a victim of this same type of video that uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description box to show you. Now, you have this woman in Orlando, Florida, who gets pulled over by police for simply no reason other than the fact that maybe he's trying to meet quota or maybe the fact that he just felt like, you know, being a jerk that day or what some of you may call he just doing his job just like some of you good people would say when you see the good old boys harassing people for clearly no reason now you have this woman who is a black female driving down the road in a attended vehicle just minding her business not speeding not doing an excessive you know over laneage where you going over your lane uh, running to the, the next lane beside you just simply riding down the road and you have this cop who decides to stop her and She's in the Ford Focus, you know, just chilling. It's not like she's in a Lexus or you know Mercedes and the reason why I'm saying that the title of the car because most of the time when people are in luxury cars, you know They tend to get pulled over a lot quicker because the police will automatically think some of them not all of them that the car will be stolen so she just in a regular car riding down the freeway but it just so happened that he picked the wrong one to pull over this uh woman happened to be a state attorney uh in florida and when he found that out his tone clearly changed he, he couldn't even barely talk he had to keep he had to keep uh clearing his throat and he pretty much was in shock because he knew that he illegally pulled this woman over for no reason other than the fact to make up an excuse about a tent on her car and this is why i tell people about having this dark tent on their car anytime that you're in that vehicle and they feel the need to pull you over they can simply just say well uh we had suspicion or it looked like some the driver was in there doing something or anything because you got this dark tent on your car and i don't know how it is in your state depending on what part of the, the world or the country you're in but you know certain states have different guidelines on how dark your tent can be that's why I wanted the lightest tent. I want the most legal tent that I can get. I want you to still be able to see in there, but not, you know, just be all nosing my business. It's like if you didn't have no tent on your car. You know how people just be all lo looking up inside your car and everything, trying to see what's going on? You know, so to each their own. But anyway, so she kept her composure. You know, she stayed very calm, which is very good. And I'm surprised that she just didn't completely go out. But due to her being a professional, you know, being an attorney, she handled herself real well. And I'm sure that she does the same in the courtroom because she clearly knew that the officer was out of line and that he was in violation of her civil rights to be able to freely travel up and down the road see there's so many things dealing with this law that we don't really know because they don't teach us law in school unless you know <clears throat> you're going to college and you're going to be you're majoring in criminal justice you're going to be a lawyer judge that type of thing then you would know more hidden things about the law but the law is nothing but a hidden language that's why when you go in these courtrooms they use certain types of language and i'm not i don't really have to say because i don't want to you know spill all the beans but trust me the law is no different than the Engl english language but when they go in there and talk they're talking in a different dialect if you will and that's why you have to say certain words certain keywords and if you don't say this word your case will not be dismissed or it would go to trial it just depends you have to know what to say so the best thing to do is study the law for instance civil versus criminal law you have to study that also know the difference between a civil case and a criminal case and also burdens of proof like in order for them to win in uh to win a case against you they have to have burden of proof that you were doing something wrong wrongdoing and how much weight that does it carry without burden of proof they cannot convict you or anything. It'd be hearsay. It'd be their word against yours, which sometimes, you know, the court, the judge still go along with that. But you have to have burden of proof uh, to convict someone, even though a lot of times they don't. Then it's also another thing called divisions of civil law. And that is typically divided just three areas, your property, your contract, and your tort. And it just depends on uh, what case it is, what uh, judge you will go see, and how would they classified and deal with it so you also had a divisions of law which is three things which uh basically three umbrellas that fall up under it property contract and tort and you can look this up for yourself all this information then you have your liability rules strict liability your neglig uh your negligence and types of damages uh phases of the legal process 
uh, telling you basically what all you want to go through uh, these steps leading up to the process in the court system if it's a criminal case uh, there'll be a few more major processes that'll follow depends on, depending on the case because remember it's criminal and civil is different and your plea bargain and your settlements uh, if you're going and you and you throwing yourself on the mercy of the court you begging uh, basically for forgiveness another chance a plea bargain and your settlement just depends on like if it's a uh, monetary issue involved or uh, if it's some kind of contractual agreement that you have between this person your job will come up with a agreement and you will just sell it you will sell it out of court or a payment then you have uh, your common law and statutory law which is really it's, it's uh, common law and universal law but universal law don't apply in these court even though it should it's supposed to because you universal law reigns supreme over all law that's that's your naturally born rights that's that's universal law which they will not teach you that just like you have a right to forage for food which means you have a right to go hunt for food you know you don't have to have hunting license or none of that this is a man-made construct that they put up on the people you do not have to have a license to go fish the fish is there for you to eat this is a man-made construct for them to make money off of to charge you for the same fish that uh basically was given to us you feel me i mean it, it was here that nobody create the fish so you have to know that <clears throat> excuse me you have to know the difference between universal common law what they call statutory law then you have administrative law you have reasons for punishment uh the loser pays the rule uh in hierarchy of a authority like your uh your local district courts your uh your states your state courts then you have your federal your supreme courts you know just depends on where you're trying to take it or whatnot but back to the story see it don't do no good when you get uh pulled over by the police to get upset that's what they want you to do a lot of times because a lot of times they just trying to fill their quota up and like i said in uh previous videos you don't understand when see when they pull you over they get incentives for that they get to go home and take a break for about an hour or two depends on what state they in and uh what was the case and like a lot of time if it's involved shootings they get paid leave off a lot of times of a week or two you know and then a lot of them get promoted so the best thing i'm trying to tell you is just to know the law study the law and it's it's not hard to understand the more the, more, the hardest thing to understand really is the word play they use because remember words have magic and words make the world go around and of course numbers but it's the words that they use against the people and most of the words are based in the latin tongue you know that's why you see a lot of this stuff in the courtroom even a writing is written in latin because a lot of people don't know latin and the way the people prosper and uh i mean the way they make money and uh make us suffer is the fact uh of our ignorance because we we don't know what these words mean we never heard them we don't even we didn't know about uh these due processes and these certain steps that you can go through the habeas corpus we didn't know about those terms until somebody came along and showed us like look this is a way out because one thing about the court system you have to remember i'm gonna cut it short is that it's always loopholes see they put the loopholes there for them to go through and the average man or average woman ain't gonna know about the loophole unless they know a lawyer unless they done sat down and study for years does it, does it make sense okay so what they do what the enemy do because to me it's, it's an enemy system because you really don't need it it's a man-made construct to keep people in check but anyway they'll make a loophole so when they mess up or when somebody in their family mess up they can take their family through that loophole and they would beat whatever case it is and we don't we see it all the time with the bernie madoff with the uh enron scams these billion dollar scammers who steal millions and billions of dollars and don't even spend a night in jail so you have to understand really the law and, and what it entails but at the same time know your rights and also if you know your tent too dark, you're basically a sitting duck. You're asking for trouble. So anytime they want to mess with you or want to get that last quota in, they can just pull you over and say your tent. You know, so why give them a reason? You feel me? But anyway, I just want to hit y'all this video. You let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like, subscribe, share. It's been your boy Trey. I'm out.